we got a typewriter and a sewing machine. <laughs> I wonder if all the keys work. Oh, nope. Key was stuck. 10 bucks though. And then the sewing machine is 20. Use, you don't use Q on a daily basis. You don't use Q on a daily basis, but what if you have to be really quick? It's cute. Can you buy? That is, that's only $1.99. Oh, as is. As is for $1.99. This is cute. $4.99. I tried to mute the music in between me talking to you, but I was getting distracted, so I'm back with a voiceover for the time being because 99 Red Balloons is playing way too loud in the background. Jenny and I were at the Lewisburg Goodwill. We were commenting here about how these, the inks, when she used these, they used to run out so fast, but I think it's because they, the, the cartridge is so short and that ink there. This I thought was Spain or Italy, it was Portugal. And this piece back here was FTD, a floral bouquet, went in there at one time. That was a cute little vase, but I didn't really want it. And then this was very stiff. And then I realized it was a bare, I felt covered in wax. I don't think it was a giant candle, but it was pretty big. Then we are talking about these chair covers for that they look like cats and Jenny thought they looked like Dalmatian legs and we both commented that they were cute because they had toe beans. We used to have socks for the bottoms of our chairs but they always would come off so I did even stick rubber bands on them but they even fell off too so now we don't have them we just have the little felt coasters on the bottoms of our chairs. These are always chipped up so I'm talking to you saying who can find the chip first? Can you find it before me? And I really felt that there weren't a lot of chips or no chips on that. I was surprised. This plate was made in China. It said it on the back. And then over here, these were really, really pretty. Maybe Princess House, I'm not quite sure. They were etched wine glasses. It was nice they had them in the box there for you. This was some kind of wood composite or it, maybe it was wood. I wasn't really quite sure. It, it looked like Christmas, a Dickens kind of theme to it. These hot pads caught my eye because they were still new in the package, probably from the 80s, maybe 70s, not quite sure. But I didn't really like the style on it. If it was more kitschy with mushrooms or owls or things like that, I probably would have picked them up. And then giving you a look at the shelves here. Not completely full shelves, but still fit lots of things to look at. Those were a set of bookends there, and then they in that box they had a whole bunch of different things. These were nice, this tapestry, needlepoint, coasters. And then up here was a glass dolphin votive holder. And then further down on the shelf, Jenny found something over here. She thought this was hilarious. This of course is Avon. <laughs> but look what she found right next to it. This is a Bavano switch plate cover. And I've never seen a switch plate cover. It is Mark Bavano on the back. This is enamel over copper. And then I'm getting her opinion on whether she thought those were scratches or part of the design. And she felt that they were part of the design. And I will give up close pictures on the listing to let the buyer know what kind of condition that light switch is in. I thought that was an unusual candle holder, that big white thing. And then this is kind of a clear glass section area, a Kansas souvenir glass. Jenny's gonna go check out the toys while I look at the clear glass. You never underestimate the clear glass section because there might be fairy lamps hidden in here. I have found a couple of the Homeco fairy lamps lately and they were in the clear glass section because they were separated. They didn't have them together. So always look in the clear glass. You never know what you'll find slowly turning around and giving you another look at the shelves behind us. These salt and pepper shakers, more modern, contemporary, but I thought they were funny with the shirts. Oh, you found the Hungry Caterpillar. I we had that. that. You had that and you had all the books too. What's this? Oh, it's for a face shield. Someone's hair. Whose hair is that? Paula Young. Please. Was this um, Moravian tile? 
What'd you find out? Aw, like? oh, you guys push all that puppy's dog. cute. The pop-tart's weird. That's, how it's cute. That's cute. I like that. That looks like a Aussie doodle. That's, that's what I was thinking. I just looks really like better remember that. And then look, I found a dog too. Mine's not as squishy. These are Moravian tiles right here. That's what these are. Ursa Major. And a swan. Yep. Take those for sure. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> a bag of squishmallows. Do you want me to come over there and look at it? Okay. We found all the squishmallows. <clears throat> oh, a whole little bag of them. I, don't you don't want to, I know you don't want to touch it. Okay, I oh, see for ten dollars. I see a shark. I see a cool. Oh, it's a flying something. Unicorn. Flying. I know that. Looks I'm like a sheep. The, a lamb. That's funny. Miley. A crab or some kind of bug. But this is not a squishmallow. Oh, it's not. Two of them are not squishmallows. It's Two a, of them are. Yeah, it is. No, that's kind of that one. Oh, the little one. That's just, this and this are squishmallows. And this too, look. And that, but the other two aren't. That one. It's a squ It's a soul swollmallow. Squishmallow. Squishmallow. It is a squishmallow. They are squishmallows. Huh? Why do they? Why do the eyes look like that? Is that like what they used to look like? That's weird. A hyena. That's cute. Oh, oh, wrong ma'am. Someone was mammon. What is this, dirty birds? I don't know. That's not squishmallow. That's cute. Blue's clues. Oh, look at this little guy. <laughs> Oh, it's um, Theodore Roosevelt. I wonder if you got that at the park. Here's a Boyd's bear. I see a Boyd's bear. That is Aunt Aunt Yvonne. Oh, <laughs> Yvonne. And then kangaroo. Jenny said she doesn't want the squishmallow bag. This is cute, this dog. The bag smells. Yeah. These are cute though. They look, Jenny, don't you think they probably came out at the Oh yeah, because they look, time. they look the same. Yeah. Because they kind of look like the pattern. Right. Here's a fun platter. That looks like a bunny skull with butterflies. When I saw this, I thought it would be perfect for my Friday sale on Whatnot. I am part of Kate Follow That Bug, Follow That Cat raid train on Friday the 25th. We've had it planned for so long. I'm finally glad that it is here because I've been collecting uh, cats probably for a month we've known about this sale. So I'm super excited about it. I am at the 6.30 slot. I, th I believe I follow Jocelyn and I raid into Nesting Haven. So I hope that you can join us for that. It starts at four o'clock over on Whatnot. I usually go to this Goodwill whenever we go up to Wellsboro and I usually hit it on the way home. But this time I did it on the way up because we were coming home on a Sunday and the Goodwills in our area usually are open at noon on Sundays and we were leaving before that. You find all kinds of things at Goodwill. <laughs> Those little mouth things. I guess if you had a game that uses those mouth things, that would have come in handy, but I don't, so I didn't buy it. And the last thing that we found at this Goodwill, we were walking by and I saw this Nightmare Before Christmas mug. Jenny, of course, loves Nightmare Before Christmas. We both kind of thought it looked like a golf ball at first. I asked her if she wanted it and she said no, but we did take the time to admire it. They had a whole bunch of these pottery mugs. We didn't find a whole bunch of things at this Goodwill, but I am pleased with what I did find. Here is everything that I picked up on this trip to the Lewisburg Goodwill. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for subscribing and for hitting that bell notification button. Then you know when I drop a new video. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see ya.
I'm gonna take your cheese. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get your cheese. I'm gonna get your cheese. I'm gonna get the cheese. Let me get it. <laughs>